welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel, the owner and creator here at The Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. For today's video, I had every intention of giving you guys a part furniture flip, part thrift flip video, uh, but we ended up selling a couple of decent sized pieces of furniture out of our booth over at the Bohemian, yay. Uh, but that also meant that I really needed to concentrate on getting uh, the dilapidated dresser finished so that I could get it over to the booth, which means for today's video, you are getting the final product of the dilapidated dresser and all of the last steps that it took to get her finished up and ready to go. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you absolutely love how she came out. I am thrilled. And without further ado, let's get to today's video. Now, as you saw in the last video of this dresser, I did get one coat of paint on it. However, when I glued the top back down, a little portion that I had glued together kind of lifted and there was just a, a minor crack. And I wanted to get that sanded nice and flat before I repainted it. So I took it outside and just used my sander with some 80 grit sandpaper to get rid of that crack and make sure the top was nice and smooth. Then I brought it back into my kitchen, mixed up some more of the Juniper colored Sweet Pickens milk paint and painted the top again before I moved on to putting a second coat on the rest of it. Now I like to make sure my paint is as smooth as humanly possible. And even though Sweet Pickens is self-leveling, I like to spritz it with just a little bit of water and go over it very carefully and just make sure that there's a, as few brush marks as possible. Then it was on to painting the rest of the dresser. I actually did put two more coats of paint on this, mainly because as you know, if you've been following me for a little while, I will take this outside and sand it nice and smooth. Uh, the milk paint really is a smooth paint for the most part, uh, but since you mix it yourself, there are sometimes little chunks of paint that get stuck on pieces, and I just really like to have a buttercream smooth uh, finish on my pieces. So I took them all outside, and this is my rotary sander uh, with some 220 grit sandpaper on its very lowest setting, so not to eat down through the paint into the wood. Um, I did a slight amount of distressing, nothing Thing too major. Uh, it's kind of hard to avoid when you're sanding with a sander to not uh, get into some of the wood. Uh, so a little bit of distressing was done. Then I did the body of the dresser, just going over again that top, making sure everything was nice and smooth, uh, and then finishing up doing the rest of the dresser. Now, after all of the work that I've put in, this dresser is finally ready for its final touches. I am going to be putting a transfer on the front of this, and I had originally had a different transfer in mind, but I just got my redesign with Prima order in, and I thought this transfer would be absolutely perfect with this juniper color. And this one is called Cerulean Blooms. So I took a moment to figure out where the bottom piece was going to be. Uh, this comes in two pieces, top and bottom. And once I had it in place, I folded a small piece of the backer back and then laid that part of the transfer down onto the paint, peeled back the rest of the backing, and then just kind of used my hands to rub the transfer down into the paint where I wanted it to be. Then I took my razor blade and cut out the lines of the drawers and began removing the vellum sheet overlay. So I'm just using my transfer stick to really rub that transfer down into the paint and then being very slow and cautious as I remove that piece of vellum, making sure that all of the transfer is adhered to my piece. So I just did this in sections and worked my way up from the bottom, uh, just making sure again to be slow and careful and uh, just make sure that all of that transfer went down. Now, when it came to uh, putting on the second piece, the top piece, they make it really easy to line up. You can absolutely see where it goes, but with my arms outstretched the way they were, I could not get anything to the transfer to actually stick it to the 
the piece. So I called in my husband for some help. <laughs> but I used the same technique on this top portion that I did on the bottom. Once I had it aligned and adhered to the dresser, I just used that transfer stick and made sure and got all of the transfer down onto the piece. Then it was finally time to seal my paint. For this, I'm using Sweet Pickens Oil Wax in dark. And the great thing about oil wax is you can use it to seal your milk paint, but it also makes a great conditioner for raw wood as well as a stain. So I am using it not only on the painted portions of this dresser, but also on the raw wood sides that I had had to sand down uh, so that the drawers would actually slide in and out. Uh, uh, as well as the insides of the drawers to seal up the bottoms and the sides and make everything just look seamless and new and beautiful. Now this process did take a little bit because the sides and the bottoms of the drawers being they were raw wood really soaked in a lot of that oil oil wax. So it took a minute to get everything waxed uh, the way that I wanted it. And then I would just set it aside, like I said before, for about 15, 20 minutes and then go back in with that uh, shop towel and just wipe back any excess that was left on, on top of the wood. Once I had finished all the drawers, it was time to move on to the body of the dresser. And again, just the same process, going over all of the painted portions of this dresser with a thin coat of that oil wax. And then once it had sat on top of the paint for about 15 to 20 minutes, going in again with that dry shop towel and just wiping back the excess. And I will wipe a piece a couple times just to make sure that it gets completely uh, clean and that there's no remaining oil wax sitting on top of the paint. One thing I would recommend though is that you leave your piece overnight before you move on to any other uh, processes with it just because I've noticed that uh, even though you have wiped it really really well uh, there is still a little bit of a waxy residue and if you leave it overnight that will dry up nicely so that you don't have to worry about putting fingerprints all over your piece when you come back in to do anything else. I decided to stencil the sides of this dresser. I'm using the stencil by Redesign with Prima called Renata. A makeup sponge and the wax I'm using is their decor wax in the color eternal uh, it did take me a minute just because the wax is a little bit thick so it's definitely not the easiest thing to use for stenciling but I absolutely love how it comes out and I think it was a perfect finishing touch for the sides lastly it's time for brand new knobs and then this little dresser is finally finished you guys i can't believe how gorgeous she looks compared to when i got her what do you guys think of this transformation
think of the transformation of the little dresser. I have to say as I was putting the video together and I put the video of the way it was when I first got it compared to what it looks like now, to me it hardly looks like the same dresser. It was sure a lot of work to get it to where it ended up, but I'm really, really happy with the end result. I hope you guys liked it too. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate that. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and then just hit that little notification bell so you don't miss anything. And then please drop me a comment below. What did you guys think of uh, the end result of the dilapidated dresser? I hope you loved it as much as I do. Uh, for Friday, I will probably be doing another thrift flip. I still have items in my stash in my kitchen that need to be finished. Uh, so I'll be working on some of those. I also do have a little coffee table that I'm going to need to kind of work into the rotation. <laughs> so uh, I need to replace the dilapidated dresser and uh, it is the next on the list. So you'll probably see some of that as well. Uh, just a reminder to any of the paint and products you saw me use today can be purchased at my website and that's www.beeclecticcottagespokane.com. It's listed below in the description box as well. Um, I carry DIY paint products, Sweet Pickens milk paint, Redesign with Prima products, as well as some Recycle Treasures decoupage paper. So check those all out there. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I can't wait for Friday. I will see you then. And until then, thank you so much for being here. Bye.